In this video, we're going to look at multiplying radicals together that have different index, or a mixed index. The way we get them to have a common index is we look at the current indexes of 6 and 4, and just like we find a common denominator, we build up those indexes by finding a common index. With a 4th root and a 6th root, we'll see the common index is 12, which means we need to multiply the index of 4 by 3 and the index of 6 by 2. And when we multiply the index by a value, we must also multiply the exponents by the same value. This puts everything under a 12th root, and for the a's, 2 times 3 is now a to the 6th, and for the b's, 3 times 3 is now 9. For the second radical, on the a's, 2 times 2 is 4, and for the b's, 2 times 1 is 2. Combining all this together under the 12th root, combine the a's simply by adding the exponents. 6 plus 4 gives us a to the 10th, and on the b's, 9 plus 2 gives us b to the 11th. And we have our final simplified solution. Let's take a look at one more example. Let's look at the fifth root of x cubed y to the fourth times the third root of x squared y. Looking at these indexes of 5 and 3, we see the common index between both of those will be 15, which means the index of 5 needs to be multiplied by 3, and the index of 3 needs to be multiplied by 5. And again, as we do that, we're going to multiply both the index and the exponents by that same value to get everything under that 15th root, that common index. For the x's, 3 times 3 is 9, and for the y's, 3 times 4 is 12. Under the second radical, on the x's, 5 times 2 is 10, and on the y's, 5 times 1 is 5. When we add our exponents together, we get x to the 9 plus 10, or 19th, and y to the 12 plus 5, or 17th. However, this is not our final simplified answer, because you may notice that our exponents, both exponents, are greater than the index. This means we can pull some variables out of the radical. We can pull variables out of a radical by dividing the exponent by the index to see how many come outside the 15th root and how many are left inside. For the x's, 19 divided by 15 is 1, remainder 4. This means 1 comes out and 4 remain inside the radical. For the y's, 17 divided by 15 is 1, remainder 2. This means 1y comes out, and 2y's remain inside the radical. Our final simplified answer, then, is xy times the 15th root of x to the 4th, y squared. We can multiply together these radicals of mixed index by identifying the least common index and multiplying the exponents in the index by the same value to build up to that common index.